you so much for the for the sub with the prime. Thank you. All right, here we go. First game of the season versus Grundle. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, here. So we're gonna go ahead, and this is a pretty interesting team. Uh, triple Steel type. Wow, you know, when when I locked in Hail this season, I thought, yeah, it can't be that bad just to get to Master Ball with it, but I'm facing Triple Steel Fire type here on Ogre. Uh, so we're not going to be bringing Hail this game. However, I have a pretty good feeling that Solgaleo Calyrex just kind of solos. Definitely want the Lando for this matchup, and why not bring the Ninetales? Why not? Three Steel types is pretty nutty, but to be fair, we are climbing back up from... Uh, from bottom of the ladder or not bottom of the ladder but you know the ladder reset we haven't played yet this season let me go ahead and reset my overlays because it's doing that thing where they're all out of sync let's see if i can split my attention session data reset session reset save thank you full screen session data Reset, and save. Okay, it looks like they lit off with Cinderace and Zacian, which I'm kind of cool with. I'm kind of cool with that. Um, actually, very cool with that. God, I'm so cool. Uh, I can one-shot that Cinderace with with our with our friend Solgaleo. Uh, my main concern is if it's Sucker Punch Cinderace, we might have an issue on our hands. And I really don't want to have an issue on our hands. I really, I really don't want to have an issue on our hands. I could go for the will o -Wisp right here. Ah, screw it. You know, we're at the bottom of the ladder. There's no reason to protect. There's literally no reason to, or there's no reason to, to predict. I mean, there's no point. Yeah, I guess Cinderace can be a fourth steel type with Libero. That's, that's a real thing. Okay. All right, if I get Sucker Punched here, we riot. I probably did. No, no Sucker Punch. Okay, so Cinderace is just dead. <laughs> it's just gone. Unless it's White Herb, in which case it will outspeed us here, but I'm not terribly concerned about that considering where we are on the ladder right now. All right, let's see. Grand Reveal. We're good. All right, got rid of probably the most threatening Pokemon that they have. Got a nice little special defense boost as well. Not terribly concerned about the Zacian here. Uh, we're guaranteed to live with a Behemoth Blade because we're running the objectively best Calyrex set ever made. Look at this. Look at this. We're going to survive. We're going to be just barely in the red. Can you... Okay, well, not just barely, but can you imagine... Can you imagine... You know not living that without a sash can you imagine that couldn't be me all right um there's scissor the once well trained i don't want to get bullet punched i think i might just get my guy out of here let's go ahead and send in the lando and i'm gonna go for my max quake onto you i'm not terribly concerned about scissor right now it's probably just going to bullet punch. And we're going to have two special defense boosts. So I can just wild charge or max lightning into the Kyogre for the one shot. Get a nice little intimidate here as well. As they protect their Zacian, that's fine. They go for the BP. To get my quake. Uh, this just means I get three. This just means I get three quakes. All right. Um. Yeah, probably my best interest just to target down this Ashian once more. Uh, we might as well go for the rock slide for a flinch. Nice. Okay. Pretty, uh, pretty nice first game. Granted, you know, we're in Great Ball 7, so. 
can't always expect to have like the the most difficult matches here but you also can like listen like laddering up from here can be kind of a kind of a climb you know it can be kind of interesting what was that av muscle band okay muscle band focus sash they did have sucker punch they didn't go for it assault vest duraldon metal coat scissor that's pretty interesting Rusted Sword Zacian and Wise Glasses Kyogre. Okay, I think I would have just won there. Oh. This is uh, just, I don't know. It, it's it's like Whimsicott, Zacian, Kyurem, which is like, those are three things you typically see together when you see a Kyurem. The Bisharp is a little bit concerning and the, uh, the Rillaboom can be a little bit annoying. Let me think. I'm definitely a fan of my Solgaleo in this game. And I may actually lead off Ninetales here because it's not like they're going to be able to get rid of my weather. If I can get, like, screens off, I'm kind of cool with this. Let's get Kali as well. And let's just bring Arcazult for fun. Why not? Let's just bring the Arcazult. I haven't used it yet. Love hail. I think hail's very bad, but we managed to fix it up a bit. All right, yeah. There's Whimsicott Kiram. Um, I'm pretty certain they're not gonna get rid of my veil or anything. And uh, I should be able to just go for like a steel spike into this Kiram here. I'll just max right now. Uh, I don't mind if I lose my... I don't mind if I lose my Ninetales immediately, to be honest, as long as I get the Veil off. Or even if I don't get the Veil off, it, like, takes so much pressure off of the Ninetales that I'm, like, cool with it. I know it's bad, but it's funny, so that's all that matters. Exactly. You get it. You've watched the channel long enough that your brain's decayed to be like mine. It's not good. It's just funny. It's not good. It's not bad. It's funny. That's, like, the... That's the perfect medium. You know what? Um, a lot of people talk about like buffs that we need to give to Hale as like a, an archetype. And one of the main things is, hey, um, we should probably make Steel types immune to Hale because it, it doesn't make sense that it damages them. But the more I think about it, uh, the less I agree with it because that would just make Steel types better. Like overall, like giving them another immunity to like weather as a whole. I don't know if I'm a fan of that. Alright, interesting. They don't protect their Curum, so it's like they're just sacking it right now. And they're gonna give me my Veil. Blizzard, dude, if you freeze me, I'm gonna cry. Alright, cool. We're good. Uh, this should one-shot, and I'm gonna get my Veil off. Wow, that is a beautiful animation. We almost never see it because Aurora Veil's bad. We gaslight players into thinking these mons are viable? I mean, kinda. I guess. All right, we now have a plus one defense Solgaleo with with Veil up. I don't know if they can break it. It's Dynamax. I don't know if we can break it. There's your Sash. Thank you. Yeah, I think boosting Ice types defenses would be very good if it weren't for the fact that we now have Pokemon that would be absolutely busted if we did that. Like, disgustingly busted, in fact. Um, I can one-shot this Incineroar right now. My only concern if it's, if, is if it's like Eject Button Whimsicott, that could be very bad. Um, I'm just gonna act like it's, like, like there's no chance it is. I'm just gonna pretend. Uh, we might as well just go for the Icy Wind here. I guess I can, I can just free strike. Why not? I don't really need this guy to do anything. Hail team, you're really just gaming on hard difficulty? Yeah, I mean, we're playing Ultra Nightmare. Ultra Nightmare in Doom, if you don't know, takes place in, like, the North Pole. Oh, they're gonna Dynamax it. Okay. Alright. I understand. Alright. 
Um, I don't know if that's like you're out though, to be honest. If we're being real, <laughs> I don't think that's their out. I mean, I'm thinking I do like 60% to them now that they're maxed. They're gonna protect, that's fine. Freeze dry, that's, all right, yeah, sure. Sure, um, okay, there's the Shookaberry. I don't know if I really care. Because, like, the benefits that they gain from maxing this Incineroar are not great. I understand why they did it. But I don't get why they didn't just max the Cura. Maybe they thought that, like, they could just go for the Freeze because they had, like, a bad lead. One of the few Pokemon that can do consistently pretty well into Cura is Solgaleo. So I kind of I kind of get it. Alright, cool. We lost our Ninetales, but... I think we're, I think we're just still gaming. Because all I have to do is keep my, um, all I have to do is keep my Calyrex in the back. So I actually sack the Arc Result here. I just sack the Arc Result. What I'm going to do here is kind of controversial. Uh, I'm going to Steel Spike into this Whimsicott because I'm fairly certain that there's no way they actually beat me with this uh, Incineroar without crits. And I'm going to go for an Icy Wind. Uh, because they should be targeting down the Solgaleo now, and Whimsicott protected last turn. So if they go into Zacian, it's pretty much gone. If they, you know, stay in with Whimsicott, I get a defense boost. Um, and I, I definitely need to make sure I don't lose my Calyrex before uh, I get the Zacian on the field. And yeah, Incineroars have the option to max guard, because they tend to run Parting Shot. There's the Moonblast, I'm fine with that. I'm in a pretty difficult to break situation. Logan from Chicago, thank you so much for the follow -up. Also, I don't think I... Do I have my overlay on? I do, okay. Alright. I don't see how they break this. I straight up don't see how they break this. Because all I have to do is lock Max Quake into this Incineroar, and I'm like, good. Actually, I don't even have to do that. I can just Earthquake. I can just Earthquake. Because they already ate their Shookaberry. Also, if my power goes out, no, it didn't. There's a storm outside. It's a little, it's a little powerful right now. All right. How many turns are left to Tailwind? There's only one turn left to Tailwind. Um, I don't see a reason not to just protect here and go for the Icy Wind. Because I'm going to tank whatever this Incineroar wants to go for. And I want to make sure I'm faster than this uh, Zacian. So if possible... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. They're going to double. They're going to double and that's going to mean I win. That's what I thought. Okay, listen. This is the most clutch... That was pathetic damage. <laughs> this is the most clutch Arc Result move possible. There's my policy. I don't think they can win anymore. Underuse Apple. Thank you so much for the, for the seven months. Alright, no miss. Alright, it's fine that it missed the Incineroar, to be honest. Because I was already faster than it. But we hit the Zacian, so I outspeed everything, and I can now sweep with, uh, I can now sweep with this guy. Also, we're probably just gonna get, like, a second Icy Wind off anyways. If they, like, protect the Zacian. Actually, no, we won't. We won't. And the reason we're not is because we're gonna KO our own guy. So I'll Icy Wind here. An Earthquake. And we now have our policy, so we're, like, set. gonna protect i don't think you take this at plus two but even if you do um i just bring in the cali shadow and spam my astro barrage nice our arc result funny enough takes that arc result is like it, it's 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 deceptively bulky it's a deceptively bulky mon our roar veil wore off which is very sad you know, you never want to see that. But let's see if I can get an Arc Result win here by locking in Sunseal Strike. Oh, wait, I can't. I can't. You know, I'm going to Icy Wind and Sunseal Strike. I want to see if I can somehow get an Arc Result win. Maybe maybe the Sunseal Strike will combo into the into the uh, Icy Wind, and I'll just barely pick it up. But one would imagine this comes pretty close to KOing, especially considering the chip. And nah, it's just a one-shot. Okay, that's fine. I see you, QVGC. All right.
Nice. So far, we're doing pretty decent. Charcoal, thanks for the follow. I want to look at that team. Cotton Oh, that would have been annoying. What was it? Um, Salt Vest, Focus Sash. Okay, those are the items. Dang it, man. I don't want to have to deal with Tornado. That's pretty lame. That's pretty lame. Anyways, let's keep going. Um, Let's go ahead and... I really don't see any downside to locking in Calyrex Shadow and Solgaleo on lead. They don't have a lot for it. Uh, obviously, the Regieleki could be quite annoying, but a maxed Solgaleo is like not doing terrible. Uh, definitely want the Lando as well, though. And I think we can just bring Venusaur. So no hail this game. Listen, I get that there's a tornado warning outside, but the only people that should be taking shelter due to inclement weather is the Sun Team, because we're bringing hail. Now let's see if I'm going to die. Uh, tornado warning. Okay, I'm not within the area. It just thinks I am. Looking at the map, I'm not in the area. I'm actually fairly far from it. Dude, I live in Illinois. When you get a tornado warning, you go, yup, it's Tuesday. Okay, I'm pretty down for this lead because I'm pretty sure, due to my absurd amount of bulk, even if they sucker punch, I'm like set. I'm gonna bulldoze. Uh, this is kind of risky. I can bulldoze and go Vinu. No, I don't. You know what I do? I'm gonna snarl and go Vinu. Yeah, it's Tornado Tuesday. All right, I'm I'm fairly certain they just want to go for like sleep. Yep. You don't do that unless you're going for sleep. Uh, this will allow me to lock in a Weather Ball, and I'm actually going to go for the Will-O-Wisp on the ground on next turn if I got this play right. Oh, they're just going to Dynamax. Okay, I am now slightly concerned. I am now fairly concerned about this play that I just made. I thought they wanted sleep. I was wrong. If they weather ball, I'm in trouble. If not, we're good. Actually, if they weather ball into my Venusaur, I don't think that's that bad. Yeah. Because I got the Snarl off now. And I think that's... I, I would argue that's worth the sack. Alright. Let's get in Landorus. Let's get in Landers. I think we're... I, I, honestly, I think we're set. I'm, I'm fairly certain we're set here. Not going to bother with the Swords Dance or anything. I'm just going to Wisp their Grout on and Max Airstream this thing. How much you want to bet that it's Shadow Claw and I'm about to absolutely eat that? There's a fly in my room. At least you're safe from the tornado, Mr. Fly. I think he just flew into a light bulb. Alright, uh, so if it's Sash, we broke the Sash. Actually, I think we saw Life Orb. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. There's a tornado outside. Two max Vine Lash, I'm gonna eat that. Like it's nothing. Here's the Will-O-Wisp. He's going to eat that like it's something. 
Dang, does this mean my gym is my gym gonna be closed tonight because of this tornado? That'd be really annoying. Because I actually needed to go today. Okay, that's a one shot. Nice. I really like that Max Weatherball also changes type. I could uh, easily see there being some weird coding that would make it a max strike. Yeah. I, I like it as well. I like it as well. Check it out. Eating it. Pathetic. Imagine doing that little. Okay. Granted, my Lando's not really balling at the moment. Something I could do here. I could do something absolutely nasty right now, and they would not be a fan. They would not be a fan of this nasty play I'm about to make. Check this out. I have no need to keep this guy on the field. I'm going to get my free weakness policy. And even though I'm pretty sure you're going to switch out this hit on top, I don't care because I really, really need you to go for the Shadow Claw. I need you to go for the Shadow Claw, and then I'm like set to win. gonna switch out but if you shadow claw me you're in big trouble do it stinky go for the shadow claw you know you wanna give me my plus two so I can put you in permanent range of sun steel strike even a P blades is fine hey there we go it's gonna bounce off of me and I would say that's probably a winning position because they can't lower this uh, this thing's attack stat. The station just used Moonblast on me? Uh, there's a report button in this game somewhere. Alright, um, let's go ahead and just double the Lunala. I definitely don't want a Trick Room, and I don't need any more speed boost, so let's go ahead and max Quake for fun. For funsies. Yep. So that will lower the attack on my on my guy, but I should be fine. Nope, it's not protect Lunala, so I'm pretty sure we just won because they can't really stop this now. This is simply sending a message. We're just sending a message here. Pokemon Sun was and always will be better than Pokemon Moon. Everyone dreads the Mixation set, true. All right, uh, I have Protect on my Solgaleo, so I'm fine. I just Protect in Swords Dance here. First time catching a stream, good luck, Moxie. Hey, thank you. Alright, uh, so let's protect here. We'll go for the Swords Dance in case they fake out the Solgaleo, which I believe is their only play that they want to make here. Nice. We go for the rock slide. That shouldn't do too much because of the burn. Alright, sweet. Sunlight fades, so I don't really have to care. I don't, I don't really have to worry about fire moves now. 
I am taking quite a bit from this Vine Lash, though. I'm pretty sure it's the last... That's the last of it, though. Alright, uh, um... Do I concern with... Do I concern myself with the possibility of Wide Guard? I'm, I'm a little concerned about that. Not really. Wait, was that the last turn? Let me check. Yeah, there's no more Vine Lash. Hitmontop doesn't typically run Protect, so let's do this. Because I can beat the Groudon with Incineroar 2 pretty easily. I just want to make sure that they don't have wide guard options. Alright, nice. That should be game. Alright, nice. And my Solgaleo should be faster than my Incineroar 2 here. Twitch plays VGC, that'd be terrifying. But it'd be a fun experiment. I'd be down to see uh, if I could like make a team for it. They'd have to run like Kyogre. They'd have to do like Kyogre Tornadus. That's like the only way I could see Twitch getting wins. Run Drake Algae? I, I can look into it. Nice, I got a bottle of Carbos. Alright, let's see. AV, yep. Eject button. Okay, that could have been annoying. Sweet. 